live text assessment tutorial. Over the course of this video, we'll be going over how to assess a student's video submission in live text. We're going to begin at the dashboard, and you can see we have one video assessment or one assignment awaiting uh, assessment. So let's click there. And this was something that was submitted by me in this training uh, course. So let's take a look. Now, one thing you need to realize is that when a student submits a video, it cannot be in their portfolio. So it's going to have to be an attachment or an artifact outside the portfolio. In any event, here is the video. Uh, you'll notice it's only 19.79 megabytes, so it's not a large video. In fact, it's fairly small. Uh, there is a 50 megabyte limit for part of the video assessment piece, and I'll explain that as we get going. So first, let's go ahead and click play. And you can see here, you can advance just like it's YouTube, and you'll notice that when I mouse over the progress bar here, I see a green plus sign. If I click that plus sign, a little pop-up says add comment, and I can add a comment to the video. I might say, where is this? Then I click OK. Now if I don't click OK, just click the X, it just ignores my inputs. But I want to and say nice view and these comments will appear to the student when they review their assessment and say crash landing question mark To make commentary like this, a video must be less than 50 megabytes in size. If a student submits a video that is greater than 50 megabytes, you can still assess the video. You just cannot make comments along the progress bar like this. So, you know, it's not going to be a problem for you to still assess. Now, of course, just like it would be with a rubric, you'd click the assessment rubric here. And depending on what, what you were doing, it might be technology. You could give them a two or three or whatever they, whatever assessment they uh, they deserve, uh, and then you close it out, and then you would click submit assessment, or you can also put the grade if you need to or make a comment. And so now you have a video assessment with, and the student can view their commentary, and to give you an idea of how that works. We'll go back to student view, and now you can see I'm going to take a look at my video assessment from my instructor. There's the information, and here are the little comments that I made about the video. So the student can watch, and as they're watching, you'll see the comments appear. Wait, Jeff, you're on. Right about here. There they are. <laughs> And that concludes this short video tutorial. I would definitely encourage you to try the video assessment piece. I think it's a great assessment tool. Uh, feel free to contact me if you need any assistance with it.